Hi, I'm Matt Williams, and I'm one of the evangelists here at Datadog. One of the challenges introduced with the use of containers is that they have such a potentially short lifetime. So configuring a monitoring solution to collect metrics from those short-lived IP addresses can be problematic. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to use auto-discovery with Datadog. I'll be using Kubernetes, but this works with Docker Swarm, ECS, and other orchestration platforms as well. You can find the documentation about auto-discovery here on the Docs site. You can see that auto-discovery has built-in configurations for these applications, but it's easy to add others as well. The first thing I want to do is start up the Datadog agent on my Kubernetes cluster. To do that, I can deploy the Datadog agent as a daemon set. Okay, so if I run the Datadog info command, I can see the agent is collecting metrics for Kubernetes and for Docker. Now, I want to load up a test application. The Kubernetes repo on GitHub contains some simple, ready-to-deploy example applications. One of the examples is a guestbook. So I can navigate here and copy the all-in-one YAML file. Looking at the deployment, I can see there's a Redis master server, which is being created from the Redis image on gcr.io. Below that is Redis slave. There are going to be two Redis slaves, and they're being created from a Docker image called gb-redis slave. So I'll load the file and see that the pods and services all start up. Now run that info command again. You can see that Redis metrics are being collected right away. That's because the agent container comes packaged with an auto-discovery template for Redis. But only a single instance of Redis is being watched right now. Running the agent's config check command gives us a little bit more information about what's going on here. The Redis DB check has a source of auto-configuration. The config section shows us that it's the master Redis that's being monitored. And it's because the Docker image used is called Redis. If we go over to the Redis DB folder in the integrations core repo, you can see that the autoconf YAML file is showing that any container based on the Redis image should be monitored with the Redis DB check. And well, that's great, but we also want to monitor our two slaves. Remember the Docker image being used for the slaves is gb-redis slave. So the built-in auto discovery configuration isn't used, but we can easily add a config for this scenario. Now, when it comes to using auto discovery on Kubernetes, there are three approaches. First, there are the configurations that already exist in the autoconf directory. Redis is one of these. Next, we can add other configurations to that directory on the agent's container. But this means that the developer has to modify pods, deployments, and services as well as the agent's daemon set. The third approach is to add annotations to our application's YAML. Now that's what I'm going to do next. So open up the Redis guestbook YAML file and edit the Redis slave section. I need to add three service discovery lines under annotations. These are going to be service discovery .com slash, and then whatever your container name is. In this case, the container name is slave. Now append check names to that. Here you must add a list of checks that you want to run. Since I only want to run the Redis DB check, I'll enter Redis DB. The next line starts the same, but replace check names with init configs. I need an empty list here inside an array represented by an empty pair of curly braces inside a pair of square brackets. This is because the Redis DB check requires no configuration in this section. The final line replaces check names with instances. And this is going to be all the options that you usually add to your config files. For Redis, I want to set my host and my port. Now here's the real magic part of auto discovery. I can put in percent percent host percent percent and auto discovery will substitute this template variable with the IP address of any container it finds with the same name. The same goes for percent percent port percent percent. So my instances line looks like this. Note that it's formatted as a single line of JSON. So to make things easier, 
you can find an online YAML to JSON converter. Here you can see the source YAML for this JSON. It's worth noting that each value here is an array and each key is plural. In our example, we're configuring a single check, but we could configure multiple checks by including multiple items in our arrays. Here's an example set of annotations for two checks. Now save the file and apply the configuration. Run the info command and pretty soon you should see three instances of Redis being monitored. You can add any other configurations you want with Kubernetes annotations. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to get things going. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, reach out to us on our public Slack. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.